Go. Hey everyone, it is exercise day today. Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna go lift some weights. We're expecting rain tonight, tomorrow, and I have got some leftovers that I need to make something with. So come on, you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Today is exercise day. It's my last day of lifting weights before we go on vacation, which is Monday. Yes, indeed. So we've got a lot to do and I have got to get out the door, but I have got leftovers that I need to do stuff with uh, today. So I'm going to be bringing something to everybody and sharing as we go along. We don't have any appointments today other than exercising, thank heavens, so we can get some it. stuff done. I know. No, seriously, uh, I can't believe it. I know. The only thing I have to do is get a last minute stuff for the CPA ready to because we're doing our taxes the day after we get home. So that's the next big thing we have to do. But other than that, we're almost ready for vacation. So you guys, I've got to get out the door and I'll see you guys as soon as I return. So you guys, I'll see you in the next segment. Goodbye. Hey, you guys, what to do with leftovers? Yes, indeed. We went out to the Longhorn yesterday. We shared chicken wings and we each had a New York steak. And Harry had loaded broccoli. You can tell by the loaded broccoli stuff on top. <laughs> and I had mine with um, Brussels sprouts and loaded, um, loaded. Something. Not loaded. I had the blue cheese crust on yeah. top. So what I'm thinking is, is I am going to keep the veggies. I'm going to scrape off the top of my sandwich so that I can, not sandwich, the top of my steak so I can cut it easier, right? Get yeah. it in my pan, cutting it with clean scissors for bite-sized pieces. I'm just gonna cut it long way and then I'll come back and cut them shorter. Look how nice and tender this was. Yes, indeed it was. I was torn between noodles and a sauce and tacos and a wrap. And I decided with the blue cheese that's on it to just get it into an Alfredo sauce, so. That's what I'm doing. Yes, indeed. Scissors just work so nice. They're easier on your hands. If you don't have a sharp knife, I think they work really good. Just make sure you get the clean ones. Right? Right, Harry? Yep. And then I'm just going to heat the meat and then put the sauce, the noodles. I'm going to make it a one meal, one pan dish. Yes, one. Scrape off all the the uh, broccoli, loaded broccoli pieces. We're gonna put the broccoli bits with the bacon bits that are in there and my um, Brussels sprouts in because I don't like wasting anything. And you guys, yes, my mic. My mic was shoved too high up on my neck. Harry needs to be wearing earphones so he can hear if there's a problem. And I apologize for that. Um, but every time I moved my neck down, tipped my head down, uh, the mic went right into my neck. So it muffled everything. So I apologize profusely for that. Yeah, that was, that was bad on our part. So... Sometimes glitches happen. So I've got it down on my shirt. And uh, it was cooler today outside. It was like 50s when we woke up. I think it was maybe 60 when I went to the gym. I did my back, upper back, my legs up, my legs back, inner, outer thighs. Did my abs. Had a great workout. Okay, there we go. 
I'm going to need to cut the noodles here. What I'm going to do is, and I only got one glove dirty, which is good. I like that. One glove dirty. I wonder if I should. That's why they call you one glove Wendy. I wonder if I can cut these guys with, without a hand. You know what I'll do? I'll trade, trade my glove over to my right hand. So I'm going to get these Brussels sprouts cut a little bit better. There we go. Because they're tough. Not tough, but just more fiber to cut through. I guess tough is the right word, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Probably should use the chicken scissors. No, these are working. I don't trust myself with those sharp oh, chicken Oh, you got to wash those things. Yeah. Darn, Darn things. things. You mm. cut your finger right off. Harry, Harry, Harry. Matter of fact, I think I'll turn the oven on. The stove on, excuse me. Got some broccoli going on. This is like a monster piece. I don't think there's any more. There's little guys. Big guys, little guys. Okay, now. So what do you, what's, what's the uh, plan for the top? Oh, it's going in the sauce. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll be perfect. So do you put it on while in while it's cooking, or do you put it on afterwards? I don't know. i got to see what I'm going to do. Harry doesn't like long noodles, so I always cut the noodles. Well, I've been like that since I was a kid. Yeah. And that's Cousins, fine. And it, when I went to a military school, was, you know, and that's the way we ate. So I've been like that ever since. There we go. They tried to teach you how to eat like, like gentlemen, right? That's what they said. But it doesn't stick up. It doesn't stick. <laughs> so I'm just putting everything in here. You had... Uh, there's a little bacon, there's a little sour cream, there's blue cheese, there's cheddar cheese. There's all the good ones, so you can see the bacon and all that stuff on there. But that's all going in. Yes, it is. Sauce and all. Just going to heat that up. Hmm, this is going to be delicious. Yes, it is. Looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be good. And then I'm going to top it with some rouse once I get this just kind of warmed, get the steak kind of warmed. And let me see what I can put in there. I think I'm gonna put some garlic pluck. And this garlic pluck container didn't open correctly or I did it wrong. Anyway, I had to tape it across the top. So now I've got a, I can't, it won't undo. Oh well. What do you want me to do? Well, I can't get it to come apart right here. I don't know if their machine malfunctioned, you know, where it where it seals it, mm -hmm. but I can't get it to open. Well, here, give it to me, I'll try to open it. See what we got here. Oh yeah, it looks like their glue machine went a little bit nuts. I gotta cut off this top part. That's right. On, is the camera on, Harry? Yep. So I'm putting some Redmond organic seasoning in. A little bit of onion. So what it is? Is they sealed it? You in the cut off wrong? the seal. I, you have to? Yeah. Uh, the top, okay. there's, a, there's two seals. There's, a, there's the one that you can reseal. Yeah. And then at the top, they had one that was like heat closed. Uh huh. So you gotta cut that part off. Oh, okay. And then I always make myself a little tab so I can pull it apart. Oh, perfect. Thank you. you. Got it? Yeah. Little pluck seasoning in here with the garlic. And then the cheese is melted in here. And I'm going to put the rouse in. So, is this a, what is this? Is it Italian, Spanish, uh, eclectic? Eclectic. 
American Eclectic. Yes, indeed it is. There you go. It's a one pan wonder. Yes, indeed. It's a uh, steak Alfredo. That's what I would say. Sure we don't want another noodles in there? Well, if you want to, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I think I do want another noodle. What are you making, Mom? I'm making a steak Alfredo. Steak Alfredo. Where'd my scissors go? What's an Alfredo? Alfredo. Alfredo is a white sauce. It's a white sauce with steak in it. Oh, steak and steak. Yeah, steak. You like steak. I know you do. I love steak. Jack, can you give me beans right now? No, I can't because it's all in the sauce. But I'll tell you what I can do. I can get you some after we eat. How's that sound? That sounds like a long time. Long puppy time? Yep. Where'd my scissors go? Here the scissors are. I'm cutting this. What? What are you doing? What's it? I'm cutting it and I'm gonna come over, swing this over. Excuse right. me. And put it in. So you put in two of them, right? Yeah, so I'll probably have leftovers. That's uh, eh. my version of a, uh, I guess, steak alfredo. Looks good. With a little bit of veggie thrown in there. Lots of steak. Yep. Just get this warmed up, and it's going to be ready to eat. Do I get some Alfredos? No, honey, you don't get any Alfredos. It's got too much fat in it for your tummy. Your tummy has an issue with a lot of fats. How you doing today? You got your little you got your little t-shirt on. It was cold, wasn't it? Yep. I'm cold this morning. Yeah? Are you a desert dog? Yes. You like that desert heat, huh? Yes. I know, they said it could rain. I know you don't like the rain. No, I dodge the rain. That's right. Here, let me put this in the trash. What is that? That's Alfredo sauce. Alfredo. We're going to let this marry, and then I'm going to set the table, and we'll come back and eat, you guys. So we'll see you really soon. Yes, indeed. I want some steak. Make sure I get some meat in there. Yep. That was a good steak. It was delicious. It just was, was too amazed. much food for me. And I, was I, re amazed. I realized that we can't do the OMAD protocol all the time just because I don't eat that much food at, at, in one sitting. And that's from 14 plus years of having a lap band. And now that I have had my lap band removed in 2019, I still have issues with eating a lot of food and in one sitting. I do better with two meals. Two meals seems to be my best my best uh, amount of food to have. But here we go. You guys, this looks so good, so hearty, so delicious. Just take all your leftovers, get a sauce, a cream sauce, a tomato sauce, whichever one you like the best, and use it with some shirataki rice or noodles or healthy noodles or palmini noodles or rice and get yourself a nice, healthy one pan skillet meal. Anyway, you guys, gonna take it over to the table and we're gonna eat now. So it's a little, it's about 12.15. So this is our first meal of the day. I did have half a cup, half a large cup of coffee before I had to go, but we were watching SpaceX launch their new, what is it? Well, it was, it was version three. Version three, they're they testing They actually got stuff. into space this time. They acted the whole bit. The inside of just the upper part is basically has more square footage than the entire um, space station that's up there right now. So they actually could take one of these and launch it, turn it into a space station all by itself. Let's okay. start linking them together and you can make a great big one. It's just crazy. That's why it's kind of so exciting to watch. And that's why I want to go work there for a little while, just for fun, just to say I, could did, I did it, you know? I'm gonna taste sauce and noodles. 
Yeah, I'm really curious because that, that steak was so good. It was. We just had too much food. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Isn't that good? Super easy. How easy is that? It's like Italian to me. Well, it is. It's got Alfredo sauce. Wow, it's, it's got good. a little bit of veggies, and then it's got the steak. The difference is it's not chicken Alfredo, it's steak Alfredo. Mm. Or shrimp Alfredo. Isn't that good? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well. Delicious. Try a piece of the meat. I am. It's right here. Mm. That was New York Strip, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's Super so tender. I'm gonna call it Steak Alfredo. Yeah. Okay. One pan wonder. <laughs> it's yeah, so good. Like that. Yeah, that's good. But you guys, I've got to eat now. That's good. Mm mm mm. Hey everybody, we are super full from our one meal after I got oh, yeah, through yeah. saying I didn't need one meal, but let me tell you, that was delicious. But uh, somebody asked me, how do you make plain and simple uh, creamy ice cream with keto chow? So I'm gonna show you the way that we have found that's the easiest way for us to make it. You guys can do for you, but I'm sharing what we do for Harry and I. So we have the, um, containers and it says pour to this area freeze fill line which is like this variegated area and so we fill it with water to here because we measured that in the keto chow and that's about 14 ounces of water for the keto chow so basically um, we like our keto chow sweeter so I have English toffee drops because I have salted caramel and I have peanut butter and we like the salted caramel in here. So I'm gonna put my drops in and we put about 10 drops in. Ten drops in each. Now, um, allulose has been working really well for us as far as um, blending it and having it get really creamy, right? Uh, it doesn't freeze as hard. So it's really nice, you don't have to use allulose. I'm just showing you what Harry and I do. And I do a little less than a, um, little less than a soup spoon. Just a little less, like that, in there. Get it off my spoon. And allulose is one third less sweet than sugar, I think. It's a little less sweet than sugar. It tastes really good just straight from the bottle. It's like syrup, right? Yeah. Um, it would taste really good on, of course, Wendy's having a problem getting the lid on. Then you do it later. I do. Mm -hmm. It's fighting me. And yes, I did my nails for St. Patty's Day, yes I did. I had to cut them because I broke a nail, two nails at the gun range, at the shooting range. Yeah, I did. Now, you can use warm water and your melted butter in here just fine. For ease, and I have a ton of powdered butter. And that's just me. Yes, I know it has a carb. Yes, I know all those things. But I'm not worried about it. This is actually Anthony's powdered butter and for one scoop it's less than one carb and a scoop gives me just enough fat in it for my fat soluble vitamins if I were to be eating this alone but we're eating it also right after a meal that had fat in it and I think my body is smart enough to be able to use that fat to, with the vitamins that's just me but in case it isn't, I've already got the fat in there. Then I just put my salted caramel in one. I got a lot of the old packaged ones left. My peanut butter, chocolate, and the other. And Judy reminded me that there are disposable labels. We got these from one of our viewers. Thank you so much. And I'm going to write 
salted caramel, and I'm gonna write peanut butter on one so I know what flavors they are. Now I'm just gonna take my uh, immersion blender and blend them up. I'm gonna do salted caramel first, then I can put it in there because salted caramel isn't going to make the peanut butter taste funky. But if I were doing several different flavors, I would have a bowl of water and just clean it off in between. Keep going, you got I've been babying my hands. We're from, switching over. Yes, Harry likes doing this. Plus, my hands are the best in the West. I try to get underneath everything like that. Move your hand. Super easy, super simple. I don't want to bring this over here. Okay. Basically, that's as simple as we do. And now, if you want to add anything to it, you would put them in at the end and whip it according to your Ninji instructions. Like you put it in at the end, you don't put it in, in, in here um, to freeze it. At least I wouldn't. That's just me, though. So now I just take my labels that are on a roll. Which is the end and which is the beginning. I'm just going to do PB for peanut butter or peanut butter. Yeah, not PB and J. No. What's neat about these labels is uh, they're water dissolvable. The, yeah, as soon as you wash them, they, they dissolve. Yep, they just come right off. So, salted caramel, peanut butter. So Harry knows that's his and that's mine. Or whoever gets there first. That's right, whoever gets there first. Fair game, fair game. I know the other ones that I have in there are all uh, caramel macchiato. As a matter of fact, I have caramel macchiato out. So let me put these back in my freezer. That'd be for tomorrow. That would be for tomorrow. And the good news is you guys can, you can blend half of your ice cream, eat it and freeze the other half or blend it all and then freeze it and re-blend it. Why don't you move out of the way? I'll show them this. So this is the next day. This is caramel macchiato. Made the exact same way I made those. It just makes it easy on me. I'm gonna put this. Hold on, a minute. I got no light over here. I can't see what the heck I'm doing. All right, sorry. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds because I just took it out. I did not. Um, usually, I take it out when we're gonna eat dinner and just let it sit on the counter for a half an hour or so, and then we run it but I did not do that for this, so I just wanna get it a little soft. Just nuke it for about 30 seconds is all it needs to be. Yeah, it just kind of softens it up. Just softens the, it. In the center. Yep. Gives me time to clean up my mess, but this is the allulose. I get this online. It's 100% allulose. I buy it from Amazon, I don't have a link for it because our link, our store is broken. Yes, it is. And then I use the English Talkie Bears. I'll be getting yeah. on that next. But yes, please. What are all these? In fact, I'm just going to build a whole brand new one. 
I think you should. You're going to have to anyway, the way they've got the labeling and all of that. Mm -hmm. Let me put my butter away. Okay. Now we mix this on in our Ninja. Put it in your container. What's really neat about uh, the YouTube thing is that you have a large group of people, they've all got ideas, or if you don't know how to do something, they'll tell you. I'll tell you how to do it. Which is great. Push it on, hit full, and then when you want to go to light ice cream, right here, not ice cream, light ice cream. Thank you for who shared that with us. Now I'm going to spin it twice on light ice cream. Then I'm going to re-spin it twice and then re-spin. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're telling everybody the sequence you're going to do. Yes. Okay, I got it. Go. So we'll come back when I've done light ice cream twice and I'll share before we do re-spin just so you can see what it looks like. So I let it spin on light ice cream one time. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to re-spin it down here, but make sure, first of all, you hit full and you repeat the process. You put it on light ice cream. Now you hit re-spin. First of all, before I share it with that, I got to fill my... Not that whole thing, you only want to put two, oh, two thirds of... Right there, I should do it. My water up. Now I want to show you just on doing it once. So this has one regular spin and one re-spin. See how it looks very powdery, you guys? Looks like snow. Looks like snow. So it's not ready yet. So we're going to do another spin and another re-spin. Full. Mmm. Full. Mm, let me come in. It's on full, and now it's going to go to light ice cream and spin. I'm trying to keep my mic away from my throat area. Okay, it, now we need to re spin it one more time, and the way to re spin it is you have to take it out, put it back in, choose your full. Choose light ice cream and then hit respin right here. And it should be done. We're going to check it. Yes, indeed, we are. So I did two light ice cream, two respins. For us, that seems to work really well. And you've got beautiful, delicious ice cream. And I'll, this ice cream is extremely scoopable. And that's how we like it. So I'm going to share that. Come on over here. And get my scoop going. I like about two scoops of Harry's ice cream. Yeah, I don't know why it's so filling, but it is. So I let know, me it get, really is. Let me get my spoon. There it is. There you have it. I'll scoop one more just so you guys can see it a little bit better. But it scoops it's very consistent. There it is. Look at that, you guys. Mmm, -mm, good. Ninja Creamy, this one is Caramel Macchiato. Yes, indeed, for the win. Yeah, it's good, mm. too. Mm -mm -mm. Makes great ice cream. We add a teaspoon of powdered espresso and a little dash of cinnamon. 
so good. And then make the rest of the way, but you guys, here, Harry, take a taste. Mmm, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. Mmm. So you guys, I wanted to share the disposable labels. It rinses off with water, no residue. There's 120 labels in here. And it it says, lasts a long time. It says to remove, just simply put it in water and seriously, you put them right in the dishwasher. We love these. So whoever gave these to me, thank you so very much. Now, my fingers are jade at the bottom and golden at the top. And I didn't make them, they're, they're both metallic, but I just put them on like the classic goes on, in case you guys wanted to know. I had to cut all my nails down. I got little nails. Anyway, you guys, we're going to eat our ice cream now, so we're going to close out. Sally, did you want to come say goodnight? Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Here comes Sally. She got a new t-shirt. Where are you? There she is. Look at that new t-shirt. Yeah. What's that t-shirt say? Can you, can you say goodnight? Goodnight. <laughs> Good girl. Show me your new little t-shirt. Yeah, because it's going to rain, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to rain, huh. man. She's a little chilly. Mm -hmm. What's it say on the t-shirt? I still live with my parents. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Good girl. Good girl. Would you like some chicken? Oh, yeah. Chicken. Yeah, I want some. Oh, here's a big piece. Mmm, -hmm. yeah, that's good. Now, you know, the chickens can never get old. Mmm. <laughs> good night. Little ice cream. Do I get some ice cream, Mom? Oh, yeah. I love this. Oh, no, that's good. Kind of ice cream. Caramel macchiato. <laughs> <laughs>